Already know. Now, already know. Now, now, even before we get it popped off and popping and started, yeah. how we get the name, son? How we get man, the name? Man, we got the name, man. Originally, we were playing around. It was me and him. We were playing around with this thing called Eher Dasani, right? Yeah. And then I went around to my homies, and they were like, Dasani, man, that's corny, nigga. They were like, don't do that. <laughs> so what I did was I decided I watched Batman a lot okay. when growing up. And in Batman, there was a villain, and his name was called Claron the Witch Boy. Okay. So what happened with Claron the Witch Boy, he, he ended up getting cast out by everyone in his in his uh, colony. Okay. And then a demon came through, and they all of a sudden needed a bag. Ah. But yet they cast him out. You see what I'm saying? And okay. they find him. They played him out. Said he couldn't do nothing. Couldn't cast some spells. Anyway, he came back and saved everybody. And they were like, "Yo, you could be our mayor." And you know what he said? Deuces! I'm going to a different dimension, to where I can use my talents for good. And that dimension would be where Batman, the Joker, the Riddler. Okay. That's where that comes from. Picture up for that. I like that. Yes, sir. That's fire. Yes, sir. For yes, sure. Sir. Yes, sir. Now, this is the thing. Now, your music is banging. Thank Let's you. be clear, understand and understand it so it's absolutely understood. Okay. Your man's is nice. Thank this you. This is not some three dollar fifteen cent rapper who check <laughs> it out. Yo, I'm going to the dollar store. I got a book of rhymes now. Right, so right. They got, they got verbiage. Thank you. Now, who influenced Switchboard? Who who influenced you? Who made you want to pick up the mic and say, "Yo, son, I could do this." The person that made me pick up the mic in the first day when I actually went to a real studio would be September twenty eighth, two thousand eighteen, the Dang. day that Mac Miller died. Wow. Mac Miller. Mac Miller. And he inspired me the whole way through. Because I, I always thought about it as, you know, growing up, I was always the oddball. But I was like, man, I'm, I'm always gifted at rapping. But I was like, I just don't want to put myself out there. You know, I was afraid of judgmental. But, then, you know, one day it was like, you know, life is too short, man. And if God gives you uh, an ability, you can't just waste it. Right. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I'm like, though, so oh, yeah, yeah. You can't just waste your ability. So that's why I decided to take my craft to a whole new level. Mm -hmm. Partner up with this uh, company. And I see where it goes. Except for that. Yes, sir. Except for that. I ain't mad at that at all. Now, right now, you're getting a lot of traction. Yes, sir. It's a lot of movement going on. Yes, sir. How you handling the groupies? Uh, they're pretty cool. <laughs> I, I just I actually just got back from Oswego, and literally the first day there, um, we were in the, uh, um, the, uh, the airport. Mm -hmm. The dude heard my music over my headphones and was like, yo, that shit banging. And I showed him my Instagram. He's like, oh, bro, I got to follow you. Next thing you know, he hit me up. He actually drove from Syracuse to Oswego. And I don't, I don't know if you know anything uh, about I'm from Brooklyn. I know, but I don't know. So you know how far away that is. That's far like a motherfucker. Bruh, this dude served me, no lie, at 1 o'clock. I had a flight the next morning to leave, right? He served me at 2 a.m. for $20 and gave me about an eighth of okay. gas. Big shout out to hmm. Big shout out to that dude. I had to give him shout out. Because he didn't even have to do that. All right. You know what I'm saying? And it could have been on some CBD. It could have been on some BS. Right. But, you know, you know, New York showed a lot of love to me, man. Okay. From the people there, the uh, all types of engineers there. I just, mm -hmm. I love the vibe. I, I plan, I do plan on going back up there. Now, where are you from originally? I'm from, originally, I'm from Fort Mill, South Carolina. Okay. But my family, they're all from Connecticut, New York, Pasadena, California. Okay. I saw if you if you're mixing my voice, right. I get it from everywhere. I see that you got like a like a, a international flow. Now is your family domestic Negroes or imported? No, nah, no, nah, actually, since I'm adopted, my family is actually they're Portuguese. Oh wow. Yeah, so just to throw my government out there, I don't really mind. You can search me up. I ain't got nothing on my back on my background. Mm -hmm. But my uh when they adopted me, my real name is Herberto Antonio dos Santos Kelly. Okay. So I sure I shortened it just to Herbert Kelly. Okay. You know what I'm saying? So yeah. Shout out to that. Big shout out. You been to Portugal yet? Not to Portugal yet. My cousin has. They said it's beautiful. Mm -hmm. Water's lovely. Women are nice. But I will go sometime. Okay. I'm definitely I'm actually heading to Portland at the end of this month. Okay. So I, no. Yeah, at the end of this month, I'm heading out to Portland. That's big. So that should be good. Now, what I always like to ask rappers or MCs yeah. is this. If you had to sell yourself, I mean, what makes you so different from everybody else? Like, what makes you so special that everybody will be like, yo, son, I'm fucking with this dude. Like, what makes right. Witch Boy that dude? Here's what I say makes Witch Boy that dude. One, I'm coming at the music game from a different perspective. Okay. You got everybody want to do this rock. Sometimes they want to do this trap. Mm -hmm. Then they, then they want to do this this um, this uh, freaking stripper rap. You know what I'm saying? It's, it's just, what happened to when, like... In, Excuse my language when niggas like no, Logic. No, we, we could curse. Yeah, like, when niggas like Logic came in and was bussing. Yeah. I mean, just bussing, eating up rhymes, just going at it just because of the hunger. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? The extra, the money stuff is cool. But someone that OG told me a long time ago, you it's not about you trying to do something to get money. It's about your passion, and your passion will give you that money. Yes, sir. 
You feel me? Yeah. So that's how I've been living my life so Don't far. Don't chase the money. Let the money chase let you. Let the money chase me. Yes, sir. You already going. You already go, you already going big places because you understand how the world works, and that's yes, one of sir. the things people don't know. It's like, nah, if I ain't better. There ain't no money. Nah, your, your passion got to come from the heart. Man. It do. It do. You know what I'm saying. Now, as far as rhyming goes, I mean, you know, are you a freestyler? Are you, a, you know, what I'm saying, you just strictly write bars. Like, what's your thing? Like, how I, you I'm, I'm, I'm more sure of a writer. Like, he'll even tell you because he does production for me. Sometimes I go off the grid for four days. I cut off my phone. He'll know he can't. You remember that, Yoko? I cut off my phone, shut everything off, won't talk to nobody, just write, mm -hmm. and then hit the studio and try and knock it all out. So, so what's your writing process like? You know, you type of dude to get in a car, ride with the rhymes. Nah, people. nah. My writing process is gonna sound creepy. Normally, my my writing process, I take myself to a dark spot. Okay. When I say that, you you ever heard of like how actors when they have to channel their energy? Mm -hmm. I do the same thing with rapping. Because you know, not every day you're gonna feel to, to make a track where you go oh, what oh, what oh, oh, or right. I'm up in the club, sipping the bug. You know what I'm saying? So you got you gotta you gotta be able to navigate and know your emotions and what to put out during that one moment. Mm. You know what I'm saying? So yeah, but the thing that stands out with me, I would say right now, mostly, is man, I'm just punching through the gate with raw bars. Mm. You feel me? You play that FTS, I'm just Oh yeah, yeah, boom. yeah, yeah, yeah. We about to we about to get into that. Oh yeah, oh yeah. We're about to definitely get into that. Yes, sir. Now as far as like, you know, so so you gonna you gonna spit some 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 verb sports? You gonna you gonna yeah, I'll spit I'll spit a little something for you. Do you do you want you want a beat or you want to just nah, do nah, like, nah, this oh. is acapella. It's not gonna be too long, but you know, it's some you know, some not. Oh, well, let's, this is what we do here. It's freestyle Friday. Let's let's hear. Let's, 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 let's get it. Let's, let's get it. Let's okay, go. let's go. Ready? All right. Um, I'ma sip the beer. Fears like a cancer. Lit the nearest dearest daily throws and doing donuts. Passing the fear, it's like a scrimmage. We could go nuts. The gaff, 44, sing a poem, Mega Allen Poe. Gripping on this calico. Saint killed the tyrant, take the sign, sign, line, bro. The fine eye line with mighty minds and make you mad at Paul. Clap a whack bastard, fast acting like I'm tiling all. Time to take lines and tongue dancing off the asphalt. You feel me? I like your wordplay. Thank you. I like your wordplay. Thank you, bro. Thank you. I like your wordplay. That's yeah, probably yeah. Now, you you got a whole squad with you. I see I see you with your producer extraordinaire. Oh yeah, oh yeah, that's Yoko. He's even got the merch on right now. Okay. And that's Robbie. This dude right here, he can spit. I'm yeah. telling you. Don't What's up, Robbie? Get a get a Yeah, come team. on, bro. <laughs> Big shout out to Robbie. Yeah, man, Ro Robinson, man, he's real cool. He's a good dude. He's a good dude. Yeah, I'm on the M14. Introduce yourself to the world, Big Big. Yeah. Number. What's going on, everybody? Uh, it's your boy Robinson out of Charlotte, North Carolina. Uh, I make the best gospel music on the western side of the hemisphere. Oh, wow, you do gospel. Oh, yeah, yeah it is nice, too. I okay. do gospel hip-hop, gospel R&B, uh, gospel reggae, gospel rock. It's not it's gospel not Hispanic. Yeah. So, like, are you, so, you, so you're a saved Christian and you just try to keep it? Uh, you know yeah, saying? man, what I do is, so, like, I'm saved. You know what I'm saying? My grandfather, he owns a church called Victory Christian Center. Okay. It's here in Charlotte, North Carolina. Really dope facility. Um, mm -hmm. been a, been a part of Charlotte going on forty years. Wow, you know, and has done a lot of things in the community. Uh -huh. And uh, yeah, man, you know, um, I grew up underneath the church. You know, literally, and literally, like was born there. You know, <laughs> yeah. and um, at first, you know, I fought against it for a while because you know when you're a pastor's kid, yeah. you get that that love hate relationship with everybody. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Right. They either want to be you or they or they trying to get to you to get to your granddad or yeah. you, know, you know how yeah. it goes. Um, but so that kind of made me start off not in the church when I started doing music. You know, I yeah. started doing the, uh, started doing like the club type hits. Okay. Um, I was doing a lot of songwriting and stuff. And then my uh, my father passed away. Wow. Mm. February twenty fifth of twenty twenty. Big shout to pops. Big yeah, shout to pops. Big 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 shout to pops. Real big shots. Um, but what ended up happening? Uh, when he passed away before he died, we talked on a Sunday evening, and mm -hmm. he was like, you know. I love what you're doing with your music, mm -hmm. but I can't even listen to it wow. because it goes against everything I believe in. Wow. wow. And so that was like very impactful. Okay. And then two days later, he ended up passing. Wow. You know? So it was, that just made me like completely just change everything. Wow. Mm -hmm. You know, it was first, you know, at my father's funeral, I gave my life back to God. Okay. And I said, all right, I'm going to go back and serve you. I'm going to give everything I do. I'm going to give it to you. I always give you the glory. Okay. And then um, I actually was going to stop doing music. I started wow. my uh, restarted my political business. Um, political business, what's that? Yeah, so uh, I own a business called RJG Solutions. Okay. Mm -hmm. And uh, basically, I handle marketing, canvassing operations, uh, social media networking operations for like politicians. 
you know. So uh, that's why your social media popping because you got. You got oh you oh yeah, 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 he's black. I see. Yeah, yeah, oh, he's black. So you know, I just took those same marketing skills and put it in the in the music. Okay. Like one example, I dropped uh, my first ever music video. They know. Um, two days ago, and it's up to, I think, 37K. 11K. No, it's at 37K. I, I see that in two yeah, days? 37K yes, in two days. Yeah, man. I even said it's, it's wow. shocking. I saw I was yeah. like, dang. Look, you're that's sh- strong. Yeah. That's, oh, yeah. That's Schwarzenegger in the 90s strong. Oh, right. That, well, we <laughs> said, I produce for both of them. I make his cover art. Huh? I, I produce for both of them, but I make his cover art, too. Okay, okay. You want to get on the mic, too? Oh, shoot, that one work? Yeah, yeah. Let's get it popping. You say you get on 